welcome back to another episode of uh, DP Kids. Isn't hmm. it? Yeah. Sanali, how are you? Sanali must be, of course, uh, used to this now, coming to our show and, of course, uh, teaching and learning all of this. Sanali is, of course, here just like everyone else who can come up here representing all of you to become an artistic generation in the future and it's a very successful one as well you must have noticed this as you have and of course many people watch and subscribe of course which is a great thing and of course little children love this especially because little children are watching us too yeah yeah, yeah. my friends you, are watching too yes they do watch it as well quite a lot and of course we urge you to keep Teachers sharing too. this Yes, yeah. even teachers watch yeah. it too. Oh, that's nice. That's amazing because they can watch and learn too and of course teach it back. Well, with that, uh, it's very important for you to very uh, be very careful and attentive to certain things. And that's why we are here to teach all of you because these tiny things help you become a bigger impact in your drawing. And of course, we are going to draw animals too. And animals require a lot of observation as well. Yeah. Yes. Do you like yes. little animals? Little rabbits and all, you know? Well, the best part is, have you seen uh, these types of animals, of course, that are normally in the mud? Because, see, animals that are in the mud are very yes. important too. Uh, yes. So, what are we going to draw? We'll draw someone that lives in a mud. Someone in the mud. Who is it? Is it a duck? No. Who is it? A pig? A pig. Yes. A tiny little pig. We can draw that, of course. And today... We'll draw the pig, but of course, we'll teach you all of that from the start. Okay. Watch just as I do. Take your platinums out. Okay. Yes. Like this. And of course, you can watch very carefully to learn. Here's how we're going to draw it. Watch very carefully. Yeah? Okay. Yes. We'll draw the eyes first. Like this. A tiny circle. A bit of a darkness on the outside. Okay. Okay. Right, and then another circle. Uh, watch me very carefully here. A tiny circle like this. There we go. All right. There we go. Now, of course, when drawing animals, the best part is you need to, of course, be very observant of their faces, especially. Because not seeing is not observing. And that's the best thing you need to remember. You need to observe the pig. How does it look like the nose? It looks like an oval shape, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and of course, that's what it'll look like. Observing is a very important part of drawing, and that's why we'll draw the two dots now to complete the nose. They say that you're as fat as a pig, don't you, as a saying? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a saying. You normally say that. Yes, sometimes they do say it because the pig is a very fat animal. And that's why, starting here, it's going to be an enormous body like this. Piggy banks looks like them too. Yes, piggy banks are also derived from the pig, which is a ginormous animal. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. We drew the body, of course. Now, of course, from here, we're going to draw the ears, which are slightly smaller like this. Right? Right. <laughs> Yes, brilliant. And then another ear, yeah? Yes, from over here, another ear comes up like that. Right. And then, of course, we are going to add the legs of the pig. And, of course, we are going to add a very cartoon-like uh, set of legs for you to see and understand. Yeah, like this. Two tiny ones at the end, too. Now, the most important part is especially when you are listening to... All right, brilliant. When you watch the pig... A springtail. Yes, you'll know that it has a very twirled tail like that. And the horse has a different one. The dog's one's different. Yes, the cat's And is, cow's tail. Yes, that is entirely different. 
Each animal has a different tail and that's why we should be very careful and considerate when adding the tail like this. If you drew it, then you're done with the pig. Yes, there we go. We drew a very simple pig. Yeah? Yes. Now, of course, that's the thing that we love teaching here at DP Kids to make sure you can draw very simple figures with the most important, important figures and characteristics there so that children can learn and become better. Shall we color okay. it then? Yes, let's get orange. Orange or pink? Yes, we get pink actually. That's good. Yes, hmm. yeah, it's a pink yes. animal. Yes, it is. We'll add pink then. Yes, all the way, everywhere. Now you have to draw inside the lines too. That's very important. Now we can add from the paddock a bit of more detail right here for the eyes. Okay. Yes. All right. Now we've drawn a beautiful mesmerizing pig. Shall we show them our okay. tiny little creature? Yeah. Hmm. Yes, of course, we drew this tiny, simple little pig. Now you can draw this from the comfort of your home as well. And that's where can you watch it at DP Kids. Shall we show them how they can reach us? Okay, you can go to our YouTube channel and search DP Kids and watch our videos. Subscribe and click the bell button. Leave us a comment whether you like our videos or not. And you can share our videos with your friends. Yes, you can leave us comments as well because DP Kids is where we learn and become better, where little artists become the painters of the world, shall we say. We're leaving then. Yes, uh, stay tuned once again to the one and only uh, DP, DP Kids. Kids.